Well, today is the day that we pull all of the garlic scapes. Well, technically, we're a little past that, but today is the day we're gonna get it done. So one of the problems of trying to have a little side business and work in a job that's almost like two full-time jobs is that you really have no time. And that's what we got. I've been doing a buy-off for a new customer, so we got a big line we're launching, trying to get it all going and uh, you know shipped out so we can get rid of it and start something new. Uh, it's kind of been a long process, it's taking a lot more time than we thought it would. Uh, so I've been putting in a lot more hours, working a lot of weekends, which means that all of this behind me has been really neglected about the past month when I needed to get out here and start, you know, weed whacking, pulling some weeds, and pulling some scapes. Today we're gonna pull those scapes. When you pull the scape, what you're doing is you're giving a lot of energy back to the bulb to get the bulb a lot more plump. Scape right here is the middle part of a hard neck garlic, and it grows up a little flower bud. Right there is where your flower would be. That is where you get actual like garlic seed. Yes. Garlic seed comes from the actual little scape, the flower ball of a hard neck garlic. Now when you buy seed garlic, you are buying a head of garlic. You separate the cloves, you put a clove in the ground, you can get a new head of garlic in a year. Now if you were to plant the seeds from a flower of garlic, if it flowered out, it would take you two years to actually get a garlic head out of those. So the first year that little seed that comes out of the flower head would turn into a clove and then the clove you would you know leave in the ground for another year would turn into an actual head of garlic we have a pretty good example of like one that looks like it's getting the flowers in it right this is getting the seed garlic so when this thing actually bursts open garlic is an allium so it has that big uh, round fluffy type flower on it that has you know a flower all the way around it but the little seeds are in here if we were to pull these off when they get to the flowering stage, you can see a bunch of little garlic seeds, and actually I'll show you what a handful of those would look like uh, that come out of these little garlic scapes. Now, of course, you're saying scape. Does every garlic get a scape? No, not every garlic gets a scape. Only hardneck garlic will get a scape. Hardneck garlic is definitely something we grow here in Michigan. Uh, anywhere where it's cooler climate, you're planting hardneck garlic. Uh, it's hardier to the cold weather, it just does better. You could do a soft neck garlic here, uh, but it just doesn't grow as well from my experience. If you wanted, you could actually use these scapes in many different ways. Uh, you cut right behind the flower and you cut off the end part anywhere where it could be woody, kind of like an asparagus. Let's pull one real quick and I'll show you. This, and this is all you gotta do to pull them. You got a garlic scape right here. It's the center part of the garlic. You're just gonna reach down toward the bottom of it and you're just gonna give it a little pull. And there is our garlic scape. So you would cut anything that feels woody off at the end, which this one's really soft. You can see it's got a nice little drip coming right out of it. You probably can't see it right there, but a little bit, oh, there it is. Fresh, fresh, fresh. So you cut right behind the flower off and you can cut this into little pieces. You can throw it in stir fries. You can just grill it by itself and eat it if you're really into the garlic flavor, uh, which I am. I do eat garlic scapes just like this on a grill. I'll throw them on there, throw them with some sides, you know, anything that you can think of. You could slice it up like small green onion, have more like a garlic and throw it like in a salad or anything. I mean, there's so many different things you can do. Now, last year, what I did was I dehydrated a bunch of this and I made myself a garlic scape powder, which is like garlic powder, but slightly sweeter. And I gotta tell you, that stuff is awesome. The only thing is, when you dehydrate garlic, be careful where you do it because it could cause a big fight and almost a divorce. <laughs> I guess we should talk about when would be a good time to actually pull those garlic scapes. What you wanna do is kinda of get them as they start to curl. Uh, you kinda of don't wanna get them to curl all the way around. So let's see, I can find one, bam, right here. Perfect set of scapes right here. You can see I got like one curve into it. This one's a little more of a loop. Hasn't quite looped over, but these are good ones. This is a perfect time to pull them. An example of a really bad time to pull them. And I got a couple of those, let me show you. This right here. See how this guy's curling and he's curling over again? That means we've waited a little bit long on this one. Now, this whole row in the middle has kind of curled a little bit more than the other rows that I have. So it's just a matter of uh, these ones needed to be tended to a little bit sooner than the rest of them do. Uh, so trying to find that balance of what time to do them all 
every garlic's gonna be a little bit different. These ones just grew a little bit faster than the other ones that we have here. All we do is work, 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 work. Let's get done. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I just remember the good days, yeah Past loves in all ways, yeah To help me find pace, yeah It's sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I just remember Oh yeah, look at that, just a quick little handful, we're getting going. Are you guys enjoying it? What do you think? Should we slow it down so you can watch the entire harvest? Get out of here, we gotta speed this up and get it done. Sometimes I wish on a shooting star to take me out of this world. Yes, yeah, some place so far. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I just remember the good days. I'm a much smarter man than I would have known to bring a basket or something, but I did not. I just jumped in the car and I was like, oh, I got a couple minutes. I'm going to get over there and get this done. So, yeah, I don't really have a basket to put them in. <laughs> Smart move, Sherlock. All right. I'm going to hopefully dehydrate all of this and make my garlic scape powder that I made uh, last year. Well, it looks like my time has run out for this morning. I might try to get back here later today and get the last little bit done, or I'll stop by another day during the week here. But <laughs> uh, when you're getting tiny little bits of time, you gotta jump in and do what you can when you can do it. And that's what we did. We got uh, quite a bit done. We got two big rows done, the two main rows. So I, I feel good about it. I feel like I got a lot done. <laughs> uh, at least I got some pull. I can start doing the dehydrate and get the powder going and working on that side of it all. Then the stuff can bloom out a little bit bigger and we'll hopefully have some really nice bulbs in a few more weeks probably like a month or so but before we'll start pulling it because we did get a little bit of a late start but it has been so hot this year that I don't know if it's gonna be much of a, a deal on how uh, how it is I think we'll still be pulling it probably about the normal time we would not later in the year like I thought I would be uh, just because of when I planted it but here's what it is you can't control that part you can't control mother nature so Alright guys, remember to be bold and grow bold, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.